Now let's see. I am given a n is equal to a n minus one plus k. What kind of a series this is? This is the previous term plus something is equal to the next term. Is this an arithmetic progression AP? Add something to the previous term, then I get the next term. And this k is zero or non-zero? That's also important. K is non-zero here. That means this AP is not a constant AP. This will be either increasing type of AP or decreasing type of AP. You are given how many terms are greater than ten? It's a tricky problem. Now, in the options, one of this val one of the values is given as ten directly. There is a very strong reason. If I say eight term is equal to ten, how many terms are always more than the eighth term? How many terms are there total? So, seven terms will always be this side, and seven terms will be this side, right? Always. If it is an increasing series, seven terms will be greater than ten here. And seven terms will be. If it's a decreasing series, then seven terms here will be greater than ten, and seven terms here will be. In either case, how many terms are greater than ten? And which statement alone is enough? Second. So answer. It might sound very strange to you the way we are solving things, but this is how the GMAT is basically in terms of data sufficiency. You will, on your test day, why people don't score? This could be one reason. They are not introduced to the traps at the highest level, and unfortunately, no material available anywhere caters to this. Anywhere does not mean anywhere. Anywhere in the world right now, just does not cater to whatever is expected. So that's another major concern.